Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Annabelle and I do videos about my lifestyle as a minimalist, specifically around the area of travel and packing. So today I'm gonna to show you guys what I'm packing for two nights in Naples, Florida. It's kind of a bit of a spontaneous trip. My husband and I decided to go sort of last minute and I don't know if it was a good idea because it's currently pouring with rain here right now. So we're just going by car, it's a two hour journey and therefore I'm using this new smaller backpack. And I know it doesn't look very minimalist right now with the fact that I have three backpacks, but hear me out. So I decided to get this 13 inch laptop kankin last week. I haven't used it yet, only because I do love a smaller backpack and the 15 inch is great, but it is a bit big for say weekend trips like this one. And I do have the classic Kankun, which is the 13 inch 16 liter, but I was sort of undecided about whether or not to buy shoulder pads for this bag and things like that. And then I just came to the conclusion that I'd rather just have the smaller backpack with the laptop pocket and the shoulder pads already. So I won't actually be keeping this one. I'm giving this away to my husband's cousin's daughter. She's 18 and she was more than happy to have this bag. So I'll only be left with the two laptop ones. And not only did I get this laptop bag, I also got a little other bag, <laughs> which is the Vardag Pocket. So this is replacing the little, I've got it all hidden underneath. Um, so this is replacing this sling bag, which actually, I think this was just like a major oversight on my part, but my friend bought me this bag and for the longest time, I thought it was unbranded, but actually, one second, there it is. It's actually from Uniqlo as well. So this is the viral Uniqlo bag. But anyways, she's, she's also taking this as well and I got this as a replacement. So like I said, this is called the Vardag Pocket, but I will review this properly after the trip because I haven't used it yet. And the reason why I bought it was because it's a good size. It's really slim and flat and I like the plain, it's just plain black, which is what I wanted. It does have the huge label there, but I can wear it this way around as well and then in terms of branding it's not so heavy so yes yeah, so she's gonna get these two bags but not only is she gonna get these two bags she's also gonna get this coach flap I think it's called the Anna flap crossbody and then also this little coach card case so since I have my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy those of you who watch my channel I never use these two items and I just thought to myself, do you know what, she would probably enjoy these much more than I would too. So I'm out with four and in with two. So therefore, I think mathematically, I'm doing good here in terms of items. So I'm just going to go into a little bit about the bag itself and this is, like I said, this is the laptop 13 inch Kankin and this is in the color super gray. And at the moment it retails for $115. And in terms of the dimensions, I'm just gonna quickly go through what they are rounded to the nearest inch. Their website has it in centimeters. In terms of the height, it's 14 inches. The width is 10 inches and the depth is six inches. And the total volume is 13 liters, which is three liters less than the classic Kankin. So I do actually have less volume inside here, but I guess it kind of forces me to pack a bit less, which is fine. And I think the reason why you have less volume is because there is a laptop pocket here now, which sort of cuts into the total depth of the bag. So like the 15 inch, there's the laptop pocket here at the back, which is what I love. It has the straps, which is also what I wanted, the padded straps. And then on the inside, there is an inside pocket as well. And it's super light. And it says on the website that it's only 345 grams. So really, really light. So I'm just gonna go into what I'm packing for this weekend trip. 
Okay, so starting with my clothing, I'm bringing a pair of jeans. These are just my Levi jeans, two t-shirts and a blouse and a pair of shorts, a shirt to sleep in, two socks, two underwear, one bathing suit, and I'm bringing my rain jacket, but I'm not packing my rain jacket. It's because it's actually pouring down with rain at the moment. And we checked the weather for Naples and it looks like it's kind of going to be the same sort of situation. And then I actually got myself and my husband these slippers, these travel slippers. So the reason why we got this is because we went to Jacksonville uh, about two weekends ago. I did a packing video for that too. And I think for the first time, the floor was actually really filthy in the hotel that we stayed in. I don't know why, but we usually just wear our socks. And then when we came home and I unpacked and obviously cleaned all our clothes, there was just lots of bits of debris or random things stuck on our socks. So this time I have these. I just got these from Amazon. And the reason why I bought these is because they can just be wiped clean and they won't get things stuck to them. I was thinking about getting, I was thinking about getting material ones, but I just thought they will just be like wearing socks and get dirty. And also I think, yeah, so they fold actually into itself as well, if you want it a bit more compact, but I actually prefer them, oh, I actually prefer them to be flat. I think that saves a bit more space and just squash them down. And it came with a really cute bag as well. So before I pack these after a trip, I plan on wiping them down anyway. So they stay clean. And then in terms of footwear, on the car journey there, I will be wearing my sneakers. These are just the New Balance and they are the 574s. And then I will also be packing my Birkenstocks. So these will be packed just in case we do the beach thing if the weather clears up. Okay, so what I'll be doing is I'll be packing all of this inside a, pa a packing cube. I use that for Jacksonville as well. It's just the Amazon Basics packing cube. And I'm just gonna get that all together for you now and I'll show you so guys. These are all my clothes and my shoes all packed up. So all my clothes are inside the packing cube. My Birkenstocks are here and my travel slippers are here. And then this is my rain coat, which I'll be wearing or I'll just have in the back of the car seat. So, um, cause it's currently raining, raining right now. And I don't really want to bring an umbrella. I feel like if it's quite windy, I feel like an umbrella that always just flip inside out on me. So I just would rather just have a coat and just put my hood on to keep dry that way. So then next I'm gonna go into my health and beauty items. So these are my health and beauty items and I've really tried to reduce where, wherever I could and I feel like I'm really happy now with where things are at. I think I could definitely pare down my toiletries a bit more but I'm kind of in a elimination process where I take out one product and see how it goes and things like that. So I'm going to start with the liquid side, the sort of hair skincare side, because I think this bit, it's, it's the most difficult. So for those of you who actually watched my skincare video, um, you would have seen that I was using a lot of Paula's Choice items and I think I had about six products. So now I've pared down my skincare to four products. I've actually recently run out of the Paula's Choice skincare items that I had. It was a cleanser, toner, and it was benzoyl peroxide, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen. And then I also had the ordinary hyaluronic, hyaluronic I can never pronounce it, acid serum, and I also had a retinol and i think that's just too much obviously it's just too much so i've actually stopped using benzoyl peroxide for the past couple of weeks to see if my skin's got any better uh, or worse and actually it made no difference and in terms of the hyaluronic acid the new product that i'm using in the moisturizer it has that in there so that ran out and i no longer use that and I also still use the retinol from Paula's Choice, the little travel size testing one I got. I only use this twice a week, so because it's quite drying. 
So I think this will take me a while to get through it, but I actually won't be repurchasing this in full size. So the reason why I've kind of scrapped Paula's Choice right now is because even though I absolutely love the product and my skin did it hardly broke out using them, I just can't justify how much it costs anymore. So I did it once, I loved it, and I've kind of moved on to a new brand that's also certified cruelty free. They can be found on the Leaping Bunny Guide and they are much, much cheaper than Paula's Choice. So I think Paula's Choice, the acne set was about $60. If I bought the full size retinol, that's also another $60. And on top of that, you have to buy the moisturizer, which was like 20 odd dollars. That in itself, what, that's like a hundred and almost $150 and I get through products in about four to six weeks. So no, no, no. So what I've moved on to is peach slices. I have never heard of them before and I recently discovered them. In terms of the set, so the set, you get the cleanser, you get the toner and you get the moisturizer. With Paula's Choice, the set doesn't come with the moisturizer so you have to actually purchase that separately. So this cost me about $30 of Amazon for the set and it has all the active ingredients that I look for which is the salicylic, the hyaluronic and the, even it has glycolic in here which is great which is another exfoliator. So all in all it has everything that I'm looking for, it's cruelty free and also much more affordable. And so what I've done is for this trip, I've kind of condensed those into these three little bottles and I've kept the stickers that I have. So for the steps on those. And then for my sunscreen, I'm still using this Paula's Choice Extra Care Non Greasy. And actually I really love this product and I, I think I might rebuy this even when I start to run out because it's really thin and light and it's SPF 50. And I use this on my body and my face. So for this trip, I've just got this here condensed and I won't be bringing my retinol for this trip because I've already used it twice this week. And then going on to hair care, so I've always been on a mission to find a shampoo, conditioner, a shampoo and conditioner in solid form and I've fallen in love with Ethic or Ethic. So this is the full size ones that I've bought and this is the, the box that it comes with. I mean, you have to buy it separately, but this is the branded box that's made from bamboo. I absolutely love this product. However, I don't think I would ever travel with the full size ones. It does have a bit of weight to it. And you can see there's a lot of moisture here. I used it this morning. But what I find is that the shampoo bar is really soft. And I just feel like if this is flying around in your backpack, it's going to get all... I don't know, I just feel like it's a very messy, I just imagine this very messy situation. And also, like I said, the weight is just, and also I think these will last about two to three months. So I don't think I'd ever, I haven't been anywhere for two to three months at a time. So I just don't envision bringing it. So what I've done is, so I've got this little snack pot. So there were, yeah, see, see how soft it is, it kind of, the shampoo really comes off there. So I can imagine with the box, it would just get really messy. So this little pot had some nuts in, I don't know, it was just some sort of like sample thing at some place I went to with my in-laws and it had chocolates and nuts in. And basically I thought this is the perfect size pot, I'm gonna reuse it and take it home. And what I've done is I've got a kitchen sponge and I've cut a little sponge, oh, what have I done? How, how do I say this? I've cut the sponge and I've put it at the bottom of this pot so it absorbs some moisture so I can use it. And it's just much more compact than the other soap container that I had. And yeah, so this, this is good. So I'm just gonna use the minis that I have for traveling only. And then this is basically when those run out, I've got a replacement. I recently got this off Amazon last week. They were doing a 15% off promotion. So it has the conditioner, the shampoo that I use, which is the St. Clements. And actually there's this other one, which is another shampoo that I haven't tried, which I think will be quite nice. It's the sweet and spicy. 
So I absolutely love this brand. I'm going to be using this probably forever. So all of those products will go into my Ziploc bag, which I've been using now for a while, but until it's completely destroyed, there's no need to replace that. Okay, so onto this side, finally. So I've got my toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss. I've got my CoverGirl BB cream for when we go out to our restaurant. And then I've got my Clinique mascara, which I still have. I haven't got rid of that yet. I don't really use mascara that much. I just thought I'll just keep it until it goes down a bit more and then I'll replace it. And then I've got my eyelash curler from Muji. I have a new hairbrush or comb. So I was using this plastic Con Air hairbrush as my main hairbrush and travel and everything. And I've had it for a few years now and I do wash that periodically. But I just find that it's just got really grimy and inside the hairbrush itself, I don't know what sort of bacteria is harboring inside there. So I thought to myself, it's time to get rid of that and move on to something else. So this is a sandalwood hair comb. Again, I got this from Amazon and it works really well. It's large enough so that I can dry and style my thick hair quickly because before with combs, like smaller fine tooth combs, I just can't use those. Otherwise it will take me forever to get ready. And so far, so good. I really, really love this comb. And also I like how slim it is, it's super compact. So I've got my eyebrow shaper, nose strips, nail file, earplugs, nail clippers. And these items were inside my little Altoids first aid kit. I've kind of swayed from using that box now because I feel like I wanna make my items more compact than they are. And I've just put everything inside here. And this is a Dramamine. I am bringing Dramamine with me because last time we went somewhere, not last time, but last year my husband took me somewhere. We went to the Keys, Florida Keys and Key West and Key Largo and he took me fishing. So thank God I took Dramamine. But I don't think he's gonna take me fishing this time because of the rain, but you never know. And then we, and then I have the band-aids and antihistamines and alcohol prep wipes and whatnot. And then I have the Tylenol and melatonin. Then I have my probiotics here. And then I have our multivitamins. I have double the amount because I also carry my husband's multivitamins. And then I have cotton rounds, lip balm, and some feminine products. So, because I don't know how active we're going to be, it is that time of the month. So, what I use, so I haven't seen this brand in the US, but I got this in the UK a while back. A while back. This is Lilette's, and basically, it's a reusable tampon applicator. It just sort of helps reduce plastic where I can, because I feel like, I mean, I could actually do a lot better when it comes to reducing my plastic usage, to be honest. I'm, I know I'm not perfect on that, but, you know, at least that's something. And I have tried the, what do you guys call it? The menstrual cup. I just, it's just not for me. That's just honestly not for me. And then, so yeah, so my feminine products. And I'm just going to pack all of these up and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so these are all my health and beauty items condensed. I've got my liquids in the Ziploc. I've got even my hairbrush my comb is inside this little pouch and then my toothbrush and actually these two items I will keep on me in my purse and then the shampoo and conditioner in that little pot there so these are my items that I'm packing with me in my purse and just some entertainment and electronics because it's just the weekend there is no iPad or laptop or anything like that I just don't think I need that but I am bringing my current book with me. Um, I always like to read before bed, so that's why that's with me. And then these items will go inside my purse, so I'm just gonna go through those really quickly. And also my water bottle. So I got this new purse, which is the Flower Raven Vardag Pocket. It's what it's called, it's currently $30. Because I do want a water resistant bag, like I had with the sling, but a bag now that kind of keeps its shape a bit more and also 
it's always good to have a bag that's just not that expensive. I just don't always see myself bringing my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy everywhere. It's for a trip like this, I'd rather not do that. So I'm just gonna pack this for you whilst I tell you what I'm bringing. So I br I'm bringing these biodegradable antibacterial wipes. I always pack some with me. Then I have these snack bars, these protein bars. So that's just in case we're out and about and we get a little bit hungry. Then I have my tissues. So for those of you who watched my part two of my Southeast Asia unpacking video, I bought these tissues in Malaysia and what I've done is I only have one of these left. So what I've done is I've taken, ta I've taken out individual ones and I've just folded them and put them inside this pocket because it's kind of chunky. So I'll just keep doing that until I run out of these. I have another packet of these as well. So I've just put them all in there. So I'm bringing some tissues. And then, like I said, my feminine products will come with me in my purse and my lip balm. Then I just have some mints. These are just some breath savers. And then, oh, I would actually probably put my sunglasses in the front pocket too. These are really inexpensive sunglasses, so I'm not too precious about those. They can just sit in there just fine. And then in the back pocket, I can just put my phone in there and I can put my wallet in there and my key, car keys. Which can just go in there. So that's everything inside that little bag and then my book and then in terms of electronics it's literally just a double USB-C charger for my iPhone and my husband's iPhone. I, I'm not bringing my AirPods for this trip because I just I just don't need them either and then like I said before I've got my bottle and that's everything so I'm just going to pack it all into the 13 inch laptop kankin and show you how it all fits. Okay, so I'm just gonna put everything inside the backpack. So starting with the main compartment. So as always, I always put my shoes at the bottom. Sorry for the loud plastic rustling. So they go in there and then my clothes. So I'm gonna try and fit it this way around. Perfect. So it's actually pretty spacious, even though it's 13 liters. So then there's actually quite a wide space here which I'm just gonna show you, it actually does fit my hydro flask really comfortably, so that's fine. But in terms of the car journey, this won't stay in my backpack. This will go inside the cup holder, but I'm gonna leave it in there to show you guys how everything else fits with the bottle inside, which is kind of cool. So then I have my toothbrush, which will just go in there as well. I have my toiletries, which are really flat, so they can just go on top of there too. And then my liquid toiletries, which I'm gonna try and slot at the bottom there, which they do, they fit quite nicely. And then the shampoo and conditioner, the little pot, I'm gonna see if it fits. If I put this a bit lower. And then that can just sit in the corner like so. Okay. You can zip it up. I think when they're brand new, the zippers, they're smooth, but it's just a bit tight, the fabric. The fabric's really rigid to start with. Okay, so then at the front pocket, I'll put my charging cables. 
Oh, I'll throw that in there. So there's the charging block and the two cables can go in there nicely. So that's good. And then at the back is where I'll put my slippers and my book. So my slippers go nice in there. And then my book. I think the slippers, they kind of bulge out a little bit, but it's okay. Right, so that's everything inside the 13 inch laptop bag. And like I said, I will have my raincoat with me. And then I have my Vardag pocket and that's it. So yeah, so I actually quite pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by how well everything fits in here, given the fact that I have three liters less with this bag than I do with my Kankin. But I'm excited to give, as in the classic Kankin, but I'm excited to give all those items to a new home. And this will be my sort of go-to now for shorter trips. And I'm super excited to show you guys more packing videos with it. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys in my next video.